I'm back with our third video of our series of three where we are talking with Nanda about how junior job seekers can stand out in job applications. So in the first video we talked about applications in itself, in the second video we talked about job interviews and now Nanda is here to give you additional tips on what you can do to stand out when you are uh, looking for job positions. Okay, let's go Nanda. Tell me what additional tips would you give to job seekers? So uh, my, my number one tip would be networking. Uh, as career coaches also, we know that a high percentage of all the jobs are filled by existing connections. Mm -hmm. So basically your network is really valuable and on the other hand we know that networking nowadays is shaped a little bit differently. So all the events that we mapped for 2020 like tech events, meetups and all these ideas of connecting with people on site um, this has to wait for we don't know how long and networking now is a little bit different so what I did I turned to all my colleagues from the course that I finished uh, I also let the career services from my course know that I was looking for jobs and which kind of jobs I was looking for because basically they also helped me to connect with and I try to also stay in touch with colleagues and former colleagues because we could exchange um, recommendations and tips and also companies that would be interesting for each other. This was a very valuable exchange. This helped me to make strong connections and also it was good to be able to help other people as well in the whole process. Um, Together with this specific networking, also LinkedIn was a very strong tool for me because I know that in LinkedIn there are a lot of recruiters doing active search. So basically for me have a strong, having a strong LinkedIn and spending some time over there uh, daily, not only applying for jobs but like interacting with other people's posts, doing my own posts, and stuff like that also was helpful as a networking tool. And another thing is I always, every time that I applied for a job that was very interesting for me, this in the application phase, I basically would look for the person responsible for that position, for that recruitment, and I would connect with them via email. I would send a short introductory email saying, hey, I like your company, I think I would be a great match for this position. I would send a short introduction about myself and I would also give a uh, link, my GitHub and my LinkedIn in the same email. And this is basically when, this is basically how I started the conversation with my current manager. So I know that it works firsthand because this was not only the this was not the only one, uh, the only company that replied to me after a direct email to the recruiter. So I think this makes sense. It's hard to do it every time you apply because usually we apply a lot. So in my case, I would apply, I would send the, this email, this specific email, every time the position was really perfect for me, really tailored for me. I would match all the criteria. I would be interested about the industry, so then I would approach them by email. Uh, another thing that I do and I was doing is learn new skills like in a daily basis. So I told in the, I think in the first video that I would schedule a time every day for applying and this I also did for learning, so I had a scheduled time every day for studying, really coding, uh, refactoring past code, um, learning new technologies. For example, this is how I learned SQL databases. So in my course, 
I learned MongoDB, which is NoSQL, and I didn't have any experience. So in my learning phase, I did, a, uh, I think, one or two projects with my SQL. So basically, I have uh, some experience with that now. And as the final tip, I would say uh, make your project and your skills visible for everyone who wants to understand what you're doing. In my case, I would keep every, time, every day my GitHub up to date. Even with ongoing projects, I would keep it updated. Uh, with ongoing projects, I would basically add that to the description. So basically, in the description of the project, I would have an explanation about what I was building, and an observation saying this is an ongoing project, it's not finalized yet, so people understand that, of course, the code is going to be halfway through somewhere. Uh, and every time I would finish a side project, uh, I would use like free online tools to host it, to deploy the, the actual code. So basically, the, the user, in my case, focusing on front end, the user could see how the website would look like, how the functionality works, and um, have the, f the experience together with also having access to the code to how I built that, uh, that functionalities and that website. Uh, this is in, in this tip, actually, like to make your stuff, your projects visible, you can also create your own website like as a portfolio. There are several options. Uh, in my case, the GitHub was the easiest one because I could host stuff and I wouldn't need to update the website. It was basically like much more easy for me. But there are several options. We can always choose whatever works best for our situation and our... Um, uh, but yeah, basically, give it a thought. Keep your stuff, keep your work visible so that people can see your improvements uh, between projects, between side projects. The technology that you didn't use in the previous one, but that now you are able to explore. So basically, um, showing that will also show the recruiters that you are already learning, you are already improving your skills so that Every time you go to an interview and you say, hey, I am willing to learn when I start look, uh, working for you, uh, you can actually do it differently and say, hey, I am already learning new stuff. You can look into my GitHub or you can look into my portfolio and you will see that periodically I have, I release a new project with new technology, with new stuff that I am more and more learning about. So yeah, I think those are my final tips and I hope it's helpful to everyone who is now looking for a job. I'm sure it's totally helpful. Thank you, Nanda. So let me recap as I did in the previous videos. So you mainly mentioned four points now. Uh, the first one was networking. Uh, even in the pandemic times, you try to do online networking by using online events or uh, LinkedIn as well. Uh, you also uh, wrote specific and personalized emails to the recruiters in charge of the positions that you feel more connection with, uh, showing your motivation, showing your connection with the position. And you also mentioned uh, that you included in your routine not only looking and applying for jobs, but also learning new skills, because we are here uh, exactly talking about uh, junior developers, people that are building a career. So of course you need to build up your skills as well. And you did this uh, and you not only learned, studied, but you also uh, trying to gain uh, a practical uh, touch, practical experience with the things you have been learning, right? Uh, and you showed companies that. So you mentioned GitHub, you used GitHub to, to show uh, your project and the things you have been developing. I believe that uh, you didn't show only complete, 100% complete projects, but, so, but also ongoing projects, as you said, right? So this is also something you can do. You don't need to wait until you complete your project, 
uh, when you are learning a new technology, for example, but you can uh, straightforward directly publish on GitHub and, and companies will see that. And you said that in your case, companies would also be able to see uh, your evolution, how you started improving your code and how you started to use new tools and new technologies. Yeah, that's, that's it, great. right? Yeah. Great, awesome. I, I strongly believe that you brought uh, beautiful ideas, beautiful insights for people who are in the beginning of their career. And uh, I'm sure that you enjoyed learning with Nanda and with us. So thank you very much for sharing all of that. It was very, very valuable and it was a pleasure for me being with you today. Thank oh, you. Thank you for inviting me and it was a pleasure for me being able to share some tips with everyone. I hope this is useful and I hope to see many, many people getting jobs as junior developers in the future, in the near future. I hope so. I hope so. I know it's challenging, but I know it's also possible. Here's Nanda, one example of that. So if she could do this, you also can do this. Believe in yourself, work hard, follow her tips, and this will be possible for you as well. Thank you, Nanda. Thank you, Faith. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.